hope so you are fine welcome to my youtube channel bs english notes today we discuss the past tense past indefinite tense and past continuous tense now i am telling about past indefinite tense and past continuous tense and their rules and their examples and how can we write their sentences in the form of past indefinite and past continuous tense so we have a uh, uh, first of all we have a definitions of past simple what is past simple tense the past simple tense known as the simple past means indefinite tense past indefinite tense also called the simple past tense is used to just describe the actions or the event that happened and were complete in the past for example walk talk while it is a irregular verb have unique past that uh, past tense form like went instead of go there is a uh, rule uh, sentence is uh, she worked at the company for 5 years worked she worked means it is a past simple tense work it is added then it is a simple uh, simple past tense and there is a rule and interrogative sentence we uh, we uh, put did before their subjects and the second form of verb replace into first form of verb remember this interrogative sentence rules and there is a like a second form of verb is equal to the first form of verb and did it is equal to second form of verb like i locked the door it is added we went to canada last night there is a locked and went in a first uh, subject uh, we put ed uh, in a uh, with uh, locked and there is a went instead of go uh, go is the uh, first form of went and went is second form of go and there is uh, this sentence uh, indicate actions or events that occur that a specific points in the past and now completes uh, in past simple form uh, it is used to talk about the thing that happened in the past and now finished and there is a rule uh, for a regular verb uh, simply we added ed to the base form of verb to create a past tense Uh, for example walk become walked and uh, talk become talked and uh, irregular verb have a unique past tense form that do not follow the ed pattern there is a like a comparison between regular verb and irregular verb uh, then you can remember that ed is added in the regular verbs and irregular verbs don't follow these rules ed pattern and there is like for example go become went uh, this is the examples of irregular verb uh, go become went eat become at uh, regular times uh, expressions like yesterday last week 1990 and remember that this rules applies to regular and irregular verb in the simple past tense it, it is important to know Uh, the past tense is like a form of uh, uh, common irregular verb and they don't follow the standard ed pattern now we have a past continuous tense what is past continuous tense it is also known as past progressive tense is used to describe an action or even that were going on at the specific point of the past this tense is formed by using the past tense of auxiliary verb to be was and were and adding the base form of the main verb with the ing ending there is a rule was plus verb plus ing also added in the past continuous tenses and there is example like uh, she was reading a book when i called her means she was reading a book and uh, when i called her there is the was is adding ing is adding an ed ed is adding in a sentence it was raining heavily yesterday i was knocking at the door there is a past tense is uh, like 
conveying the idea that the actions or the events of a world is ongoing and not necessarily completed in the past. It is used to provide the context or describe tools like uh, simultaneous actions in the past. And uh, you can remember that the past continuous tense is used to emphasize the one ongoing uh, natures of the actions in the past and uh, is, uh, is not uh, typically used for short or single completed action and if we cannot put there is a main rule if we cannot put ing at the end of first form of verb we can never put was and were in a sentence if we put ing in this uh, in like uh, end of uh, first form of our uh, subjective life there is a uh, it will uh, if we cannot put ing at the end of first form of verb we cannot put was and were in a sentence means was and were never put in a sentence if we cannot put ing at the end of first form. It is the end of my video. If you like my video then subscribe my channel, comment, share and like my video. Thank you. Allah Hafiz.